So we're going to spend a few minutes talking about uh, tools that we can add to the planter to help manage the residue that every grower faces across every pass he makes in any given field. And the two options we're going to talk about is a fixed and a more popular floating row cleaner and different styles of wheels that we can add to it depending on the level of residue that each grower is trying to face. So the point of a, res of a row cleaner is to remove the residue from the pass where the gauge wheels, the disc openers, and essentially the seed drops, um, allowing for, in it for a more even chance or better odds for even emergence because we've eliminated some of the variability that that planter pass happens. So we can do that by, depending on how heavy or how extreme of a residue situation a grower is going in, we can look at a very aggressive version of a wheel, which is what the industry calls a shark tooth. Um, a more, uh, a lighter approach is to look at a, a version of a beveled wheel, which is just basically a smaller spike that we can interlock with each other. And all we want to do is move the trash away. One of the other benefits to that is part of the, part of the goal with the gauge wheel on any row unit is to try to keep that seed depth as consistent as possible. Any bumps or rocks or debris that that gauge wheel encounters may shallow up seed planting depth, um, giving you, I guess, not as, as even of emergence. So a row cleaner's goal also is to remove clods rocks and smooth out that right of that rear unit so we can take a lot of the chatter out of that. A fixed row cleaner has its limitations. It's mounted to the face plate of the row unit. We still set the depth to it with a manual pin, but as we go through the peaks and the valleys of, a, of a, any given field, a fixed row cleaner would have a tendency to dig and create a, a trench or a trough, if you will, and if we come up out of a a swell, they may lift up and not move as much residue. So the industry has kind of moved heavily towards a floating row cleaner, which does exactly what it says it's to do. It still mounts to the face plate, but it has free range of travel. So as the contour changes in your fields, the row cleaner should change with the varying contour. We're still setting the max depth manually. And then one option that precision planting provides is a system or an, and a standalone system called clean sweep, which is basically adding an air cylinder and a control mechanism in the cab of your tractor to either remove weight from the row cleaner, essentially giving it lift, or adding additional weight to the row cleaner by just using air. We're not necessarily wanting to dig when we add air. We're basically, if we get into a residue situation where maybe the weight of the row cleaner itself doesn't move 100% of it, we can basically add weight to it to basically try to plow through that residue and get to the bare soil. So if you are considering an option on a way to address your residue management issues, feel free to give us a call.